Madden Football is the home of the Super Bowl, and this historic matchup is brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Niners and the Bills, and it's coming up next. It's the National Football League, presented by EA Sports. Tonight, it is all on the line. We play for the Lombardi Trophy, as it'll be the AFC champion Buffalo Bills taking on the NFC champions, the San Francisco 49ers. As I've been all year long with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. With CD, this has been brewing for a few years now, but the Bills are finally over the hump and back in the Super Bowl. And as everyone in the Bills Mafia would tell you in a heartbeat, looking to win it for the first time ever. Remember, they went to four straight in the 90s, couldn't get the job done, but as you have said, they've been on the climb the last few seasons. And here they are, ready to close the deal. Meanwhile, for the 49ers, they were one of the heavy favorites to win the NFC, and they were able to get it done. And now they look for that elusive sixth Super Bowl title. And remember, after going 5-0 in their first five appearances here, they've lost two straight. Super Bowl 47 to the Ravens in New Orleans and Super Bowl 54 to Kansas City in Miami. They'd love to start another streak like they had in the 80s when they won four Super Bowl titles. But the final act of the 2023 season is at hand. What a spectacle in Las Vegas. We're off in Super Bowl 58. And we will not have a return, so the first drive of this Super Bowl will begin at the 25. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And they will be led out by their rookie quarterback. His ability to adjust on the fly is almost unmatched in the game right now because it leads to a couple of snaps per game where you just sit back and ask yourself, how did he pull that off? Opponents can practice and prepare each and every week all they want, but this guy, he is hard to corral. Now a first down throw, Kelly. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. Options galore here, second and a few inches. This is Thomas. And out across midfield, down to the 45. Well, they had a gain of 10 last time, now a gain of 20 here. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Now Kelly. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Reed. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Well, only three plays in here, but really, Charles, a solid start for this offense. And now we'll see if they can continue their mission to end this drive in six. And I wonder if their play caller right now is reflecting on that last big play that they've had on this drive. Do you come back with something similar, or do you have a counter to it to kind of show it and go to something else and create another big play? And this is Simpson with a catch. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Now second and five. Kelly to throw. Drops it underneath to Thomas. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down.
A play fake. Now Kelly rolling to his left. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. Well, Charles, in the past, a lot of people called this offense one-dimensional. I think you did. Well, I think it was you. I'll be honest, I did. <laughs> I think the fan base is hoping with this young rookie that they can put some wrinkles in this offense like we just saw. I think you're exactly right because we did have that discussion that what we've seen in the past from them, they needed to broaden, and they have done it here. Look at what he's bringing. Touchdown, Bills! Stephon Diggs! An 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Bills are on the board first here in this Super Bowl. Walking into the stadium, we saw a ton of people donning the jerseys of this rookie quarterback, so you know they love that opening drive, and he throws a touchdown pass. He gave a little bit of confirmation about what they had hoped, right? Because they thought they had a quarterback. They're thinking they have a quarterback. You do this, they believe they've got a quarterback. Look up elbowing each other up in the stands. That's our guy. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's finished off by the touchdown by Stephon Diggs. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. So here are the Niners now to get their first drive. And a glance here at their shifty mobile signal caller. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Operating out of the gun, here's Montana. We'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Here's a second and five now from the 25. They will look to throw. Montana, another grab here for the dynamic Christian McCaffrey. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. To throw is Montana. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have a 49ers first down. He needed five. He got it barely as it will officially go down as a gain of five yards. But they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain. So they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and that'll make it second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. First carry of the game for Christian McCaffrey. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. The 4-3 defense there did its job, funneled things right to the middle linebacker. If they do a nice job of playing team defense, everyone takes care of their responsibilities. That allows that guy in the middle to do his job, which is search and destroy. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. 
The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. Well, after the standard two-week layoff, you always wonder, how's your offense going to respond and come out and play here in the Super Bowl? Well, they got a great answer right there and almost a sigh of relief on that side of the field because now they've got to feel like they can use their entire playbook and game plan for this one. Play action. It's Montana. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. It's a seven-yard gain that gets him back to the original line of scrimmage. Third and ten. Talk about controlling the football and controlling the drive. And with runs like that, they'll continue to do exactly that. It's been a pretty long drive. This will be play number nine. And they need ten yards out of it on third. Montana. Still going inside the 20. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills' 12-yard line. A really nice gain of 25 yards. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Now Montana. And his throw here is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Now a second and ten. Here's Montana to throw. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's been a good opening drive offensively thus far, but you know they don't want to waste it and settle for a field goal attempt after that incompletion. So this is a big play coming up here on third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Shotgun. Here's Montana. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Looks like a nine-yard loss, and it also brings up four. So now make that a second sack for them on this drive. And Brandon, we hear it every week when we go out to do a game. Everyone talks about playing complimentary football. Their offense goes down and scores. They see that, and they want to back them up, and that they did, getting two sacks on this first drive. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. This will be, let's see, 38 yards out. And his kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. to three. So the three points there, and CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. The lead cut to just four as they kick it away and turn things over to their D. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. The Bills ready to take over. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a bead on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. On first and 10, Kelly. A quick throw there is incomplete. 
I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Here now, third and a yard. Now Kelly. And that is incomplete. And that is how you respond after taking one on the chin to begin this game. Give up a first drive touchdown, go back out on defense, and completely shut them down to force a three and out. The Bills send the punter out as he's on here to punt it away. Taylor now returning it. It's a 49-yard punt, but subtract nine there for the return. Back out there comes the 49ers offense ready for their second drive. They trail early on in this Super Bowl as they come up first and ten. Come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, what a read on the outside as it's intercepted. Tredavious White with a pick. Well, it certainly felt like he was going to challenge this defense no matter what. And he stepped up and tried to throw it to the outermost edge of the zone coverage. And they were more than ready for him. The problem now is if they are limited in what they're doing throwing the football, they got to figure out how to move it without being able to throw it to the outside and throw it downfield. And the Bills getting set to go. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have them a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? Those guys creating holes, they couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. On second down, it's Simpson, and he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Offensive line really didn't give him any room to maneuver on that play. Things closed pretty quickly, didn't they? And how about the wrap-up at the end of that tackle? Left no doubt there would be no additional yardage to be found. To throw is Kelly. And he will find his man on the outside. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Receivers love having the reputation of being go-to guys on third down. And he was fighting like he really wanted to have that reputation, didn't he? I mean, he came very close to making that a first down. Broke the one tackle, but couldn't spring himself free. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. The Bills' drive stalls out on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. Fourth down, and they take to the air, which really isn't a major surprise, but how about the coverage they're able to bat it down? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And this defense able to plug him up there as he'll get a yard to the 35. 
Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. He juked him. And now off to the races down the right side. 18 yards, first down Niners. Those are the types of runs they told us they want to see more of. Look, they'd love the 60 to 70 yard runs, but those 10 to 20 yarders, they can help you win a ball game. And that means everyone's invested because you know the big guys up front. That's what they do. They try and move people. But when you get your perimeter guys involved downfield, that means that they care about the running game and they know it helps their team. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it. It's second down. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. That brings us to the end of one in Super Bowl 58. Much more to come from Las Vegas after this. 7-3 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Ball spotted at the 45. Here's a second and eight. And we are back and ready to go for the second quarter of the Super Bowl. Brandon God and Charles Davis, as always, thrilled to be with you. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The offense on third down tonight, they've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and eight. He'll look to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, their first two drives only yielded three points. They might be thinking it's time to make something happen. Push the ball downfield and try and gain some points that way. Unfortunately, incomplete. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. This one angles out of bounds in a good spot in the coffin corner. And they're going to mark this out of the five-yard line. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side, their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That's how we roll. Well, I'm kind of curious, Charles, if they might temper their aggressiveness now offensively if they get in that fourth down spot again. Yeah, one would think so, but maybe because they held them, they might go for it again. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on catching the ball and not much run after the catch two yards to go second down kelly throwing quickly there but it's incomplete after the incompletion here now third and two Here's Kelly to throw. And he is caught. And he is going to have a Bills first down. It's a gain of six that time on third and two. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. On first down, it's Kelly. That would complete downfield to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. That goes for a gain of 31. A very nice job right there, working the middle of the field, able to create some separation, and then utilize it to not just make the catch, but turn up field once he got the ball in his hands. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and ten. Play action, it's Kelly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
They have their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Second and 10. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Now Kelly. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. They had enough yards for the first down, but a clutch hit right there defensively. Jars it free. No first down. Boy, a call like this, certainly tougher to make in a Super Bowl, but they'll go for it on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. At first glance, I actually wasn't sure that he got it, but he ended up getting it by about a full yard. He certainly did, but it took a little effort, didn't it? Took some nice push, a little crease inside, and some determined running to make sure that he got the first down. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. So line of scrimmage, still the 39 on second and 10. They'll try the left side. Simpson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 16 yards there, and the Bills have a first down. After he cleared the line of scrimmage, nice little hole developed. Yeah, he got great blocking right there at the start. But how about his vision, finding the open spaces and letting his feet carry him to him? Got a man, and he hits him in stride. So no gain on the play, and that will bring up second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. Kelly to throw. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. Fourth down now as San Fran's defense was strong in coverage. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And this one is right through. And they push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10-3. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. The Niners set to take over on offense. Just a lone field goal for them so far, trailing 10-3 as they come up first and 10.
They go play action with Montana. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. Shotgun handoff now to McCaffrey. And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of 7 past the 30 to the 32. The Niners on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. Here it's third and three. They'll bring the tight end in motion right. Back to the ground, this time with Gore. And he's going to be a yard short. A two-yard pickup leads to fourth and one. So many things going to making a good play on defense. In this situation, just not being blown out of the way was a big start and then a nice tackle to finish things off. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. It'll be a 47-yard punt with a net of 40 following a seven-yard return. And now out come the Bills. And last time they were able to turn some clock, they got the field goal, added on to their lead, but that was a drive that was so long, it should have ended in a touchdown. You know that's how they felt. And we'll both be headed to the airport after the game, but we probably should go to the post-game press conference because <laughs> someone's going to ask the head coach about this drive, and he's going to profess that he was happy to get points, but and we know it? that's not true. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. after this type of a drive, not getting a touchdown, a huge disappointment. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. To throw, Kelly. That is incomplete. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. A play fake. Now Kelly. Throwing left sideline there, but it's incomplete. And this defense definitely in his head there on third down, and he's pretty fortunate. They didn't call for grounding on this one. That was a good ten feet over everyone's head. The Bills send the punter out as he'll punt it away for the second time. To return is Taylor. 44-yard punt, return of nine. And the Niners will go on offense first and ten. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And Charles, a very uninspired effort the last time we saw them out there was a quick three and out, and they punted the football. Yeah, and you never want to get stopped so soundly during a series, but what would be even worse now is letting it happen again right here. They've got to get going. Play fake. Now here's Montana. All oh, his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. They have been struggling to put points on the board so far. While you don't want to lump it all on the rookie quarterback, he's definitely the root cause. And all rookies 
they have those learning experiences in their first year. What they're hoping for is that he can learn on the fly, work through his struggles against his defense, and at the same time, still find a way to put them in a position to win. The Bills offense coming out, ready to take over. And they'll have good field position here following the interception and a chance to build on their lead as they start with a first and ten. Now a first down throw, Kelly. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. That hold coming from the left side of the line. Hands got caught in the cookie jar on that one, and the flag came out. Penalty against him. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Now Kelly. Throwing middle, and it's complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it'll be second down. Here's Kelly. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. A gain of four last play. They double that here and get eight. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. To throw is Kelly. On third down. He's got his target. That's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. That's a gain of seven, and we'll leave them with second and goal coming up. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got them into the end zone. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Now they'll bring one of their tight ends in motion right. He'll try again, and this time he's in for a Buffalo touchdown. Everybody in the stadium knew what they were going to do right there, CD. Three tight ends on the field, all that extra bulk, and they run it in. And you saw where that one went, right? You run it over your best blocker. I can just see the head coach right now. I want to run this one over the big boy. And they got it done. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's up and good, and that makes it 17-3. Five plays there on that drive, and it ends in a Buffalo touchdown. Here's the Bills kickoff unit out as they will send this one away. Taylor decides not to try to return it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. The 49ers offense now, they work their way back onto the field. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. 
understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. There's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Well, there's no disputing. He's made some poor throws in this first half, but this was a good one. And you can bet this is an offense that isn't going to pull back. They believe in what he can do. So all you can do is look forward, and they pick up a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. McCaffrey on the counter. Able to avoid him at the 40. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. Give every member of that unit a ton of credit for ripping off such a big gain there because you don't get free for that many yards on a counter in this direction without everybody selling the heck out of it. Back to the ground on first, it's McCaffrey. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Two minutes on the clock in the second quarter of this Super Bowl. A reminder, as we did all through the regular season, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman at halftime. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Montana's throw caught here by Taylor. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. Here comes third in the length of the football. They will look to throw. Montana able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to move the sticks with a gain of four on third and inches. This drive, it's been a good mix. Three passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So wouldn't you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it and throw it. Go play action and take your shot at the end zone. On first down, Montana. And this is caught at the end. And the 49ers are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. And that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Here's Montana to throw. Getting the football to Davis on an out route. And he will reach the five-yard line before going out of bounds. They'll give him a dozen on the pitch and catch, but now they're up against a third and goal. To throw is Montana. And across the truck, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. A five-yard touchdown run. And the 49ers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Hey, you're down on the scoreboard, but now your offense is in close, and this is where, as a quarterback, you say, I've got to make a play here. Doesn't matter whether it's a pinpoint throw or a scramble like this one. He takes matters into his own hands and delivers a touchdown run. Point after, right down the middle. And that slices the lead down to 17-10. A 10-play drive that time. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Bills offense now for one final time in this first half. And the ball backed way up, so thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. A little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. To throw is Kelly. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. So it's halftime here on sports' grandest stage in the Super Bowl. As we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. These two teams sat through a longer than usual 30 minute wait, but we're back in action here in this Super Bowl. And this will be brought out to the 25 as Taylor elects to not return it. Here comes the 49ers offensive unit as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. And they trail here in this Super Bowl, but fortunately for them, Charles, very much still within striking range. Yeah, things didn't go exactly the way they planned in the first half. To me, they appeared to be a little bit tight, made a few errors they normally wouldn't. But, of course, this is the Super Bowl, so things get a little bit heightened in that regard. But I think they have to feel a little fortunate. They're only down what they are here starting the third quarter. First and 10 for Montana and company. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Clyde keeps moving. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Now Montana. And he's got McCaffrey open, complete. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 37. Now a stoppage here as we've got a Bills shaken up on the play. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 37-yard line. Play action. It's Montana. And oh, he almost had his second pick of the game. Probably should have. And he's frustrated as it falls incomplete. Nice progress down the field. Was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again. 
or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Montana. Got a man complete. It's Taylor. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. Second and eight coming from the 19. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Caught right side, Davis. What a methodical drive this is turning out to be. That time, nine yards, and the sticks move again. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Now a give, right side, McCaffrey. A nice... He's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey taking it in from 11 yards out. And the 49ers are an extra point away from tying up this Super Bowl. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment that allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will level the playing field at 17 all. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kicks away here. And this will not be returned. It'll come out to the 25. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Their halftime lead now evaporated. We're back to level following that touchdown a moment ago. And that shouldn't change the mindset a whole lot from an offensive perspective because they already knew this was going to be a hard-fought game. Now they just need to go out execute their game plan and keep moving. On first down, it's Kelly. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's gonna be dropped following a pickup of seven, past the 30 to the 32. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. And what I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Kelly to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. the middle they go Simpson and a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45 well it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way they stacked that one up really well but give him credit instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play which might have turned into a big loss kind of just took his medicine there and took the one yard boy shifts past him and he's got this one across midfield into 49er territory. 40 yards rushing for him now to this point. I know the toss play begins 
with the guy taking the snap and turn around and tossing it to the runner. But where the real intrigue is, can they seal the edge, whether it's an offensive tackle or a tight end in the direction they want to run the football? If they do that, that's the result that you get, that type of a gain. If they don't, oftentimes it's not a very successful play. And he is going to have a Bills first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. On first and 10, Kelly. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Oh, nice defensive effort there, providing the hit as the ball got to the receiver. Separates him from the catch, and normally he's a sure-handed target. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Play action, it's Kelly. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. In today's NFL, we're accustomed to the tight end getting downfield and creating plays and wreaking a little havoc in the secondary. Not on this one, though. They diagnosed that one really well. Tried the dump off, lost yardage. Now Kelly. And that is incomplete. And those two just haven't been in sync thus far. They've done a nice job against him, but still... With his talent, you would expect him to have more completions to him in this game. The Bills send the punter out as he'll come on to kick this one away. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. And San Francisco gets set to go here. And the momentum just continuing to build and build for them. They had the touchdown, their last drive to tie the game. Now their defense does its job, and Charles, all of a sudden, they've got a chance to capture the lead here. And we're seeing a really nice exhibition of what coaches love to call complimentary football. Offense gets a tie, defense does its job, gets the ball right back, and their teammates now have momentum. What a nice job they're doing, all doing it together. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Second and ten. A give running left. It's McCaffrey. And he'll be taken down at the 18. Five yards. Now it's third and five. to throw here. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. And we're going to stop play here at least momentarily. It looks like there is a 49er who's in some discomfort. We'll take a break and get a report from Vegas after this. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And that one drops down, incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. As soon as he leaked out and began his route, someone on the defensive side broke with him and arrived just in time to separate him from another reception. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Operating out of the gun. Here's Montana. A quick throw there is incomplete. So back to back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. 
shotgun. Here's Montana. That is caught. And he is going to have a 49ers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. A handoff, McCaffrey running right. And he'll work down inside the 45. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. Second down and eight. He'll look to throw. He'll get this underneath to McCaffrey. So the completion good for six yards. And that'll leave him with a third and two. I think the best offenses love to get the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss. And they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. Well, we saw him shed a nice tackle on that play. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 27-yard line. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw. And they hooked up there for a first down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Well, in tapping those toes, he tried to get both inbounds. He could not do it, though. In tap dance parlance, could not complete the shuffle. All right, needed to get that shuffle down with both feet, not just one. Is that what they say? There it is. You know, put a little sand down on the stage. I'll take your word for it, my man. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. They haven't been able to stop them so far this series, but getting a nice little stand from their defense now. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. They will look to throw. Montana going to throw deep for the end zone. And that nearly intercepted. Boy, for a guy known for his hands defensively, that's a ball he probably thinks he should have come up with. But instead, it's fourth down. And that drive is going pretty darn well. Three previous times converted on third down. But on that one, the defense rose up and said, enough of that. And his kick is right there. It's good. And with that, they take the lead here, 20 to 17. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal, you did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes, you don't take the ball away, maybe that's the way they should look at it. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back onto the field now comes the Bills offense. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. Now a first down throw, Kelly. Out to the left here to Reed. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four.
Second and six, just inside the 30. From the gun, Kelly. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, and it's going to lead to third down. Now Kelly. Throw left side is complete to Reed. And he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Taylor now to return it. Now a hit, and a loose football. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble. That could have been trouble. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it. He loses it. Somehow, the ball finds its way back to him. But atone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. The 49ers offense now. They get set to head back on the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. The running game fully in sync, 1-11 to on that play. And sometimes it comes from the offensive coordinator understanding what he thinks the defense is going to do and dialing up the perfect play. Sometimes the quarterback, though, can look at the defense, realize he needs to change it to a run, and that gets it done in a big way as well. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They've been running it well all game, and why not? The big guys up front, they're just having a ball, creating monster holes for their guys to run through. And from the 42 now, here's second and two. They stay on the ground, McCaffrey again. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. And this is beginning to border on dominance. Another strong run that picks up a first down. You've got to wonder if the defense coordinator is wondering, do I even go to goal line defense in any situation now to try and slow down this running game? On first down, Tyler. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. A good run there off right tackle in an old school NFL football. The right side of the offensive line, often known as the nasty side. The left side, usually the technical side. Kind of reminds me of the old Atlanta Falcons 2009-2010. That's how they constructed their offensive line. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. That good for 22 and a first down. We are through three quarters of play here from Allegiant Stadium in Super Bowl 58. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we're back in the Super Bowl. Time to decide who gets to hoist that Lombardi trophy as we begin the fourth and final quarter of action. On first down, Montana. Over the middle, that's caught by Rice. Touchdown, 49ers. From 21 yards away. And the Niners are starting to pull away in the fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. They have to love seeing that from their young quarterback here in the fourth quarter, able to further that lead with a touchdown pass. He didn't go turtle, did he? And you know what I mean by that. I had an old coach used to say all the time, hey, when we have a lead late, don't just tuck in and try and ride it out. 
go out and play and extend the lead. And that's what he did. Extra point right down the middle. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And this take it in at the goal line. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. The Bills going to take over again on offense. And we're at the time of this Super Bowl where, look, they need points, and they need them badly. Trailing here in the fourth quarter as they begin this drive first and 10. to throw Kelly and it's incomplete boy he doesn't drop many like that one second down it's rare that a receiver of his caliber would drop one pass but that's now two times he's had his mitts on one and lost it yeah and I don't think that they're going to lose confidence in him though because of the track record such a good player maybe having a bad game but I think they'll still go to him in a critical spot to throw is Kelly back with one complete and way up past the 35 before he's taken down that good for 21 yards on the catch and run all right this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores and they've really got to get some yards in chunks and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up but they've got to find a way to take them anyway now the question is can they string a few of those together So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. He finds his man complete. That's Reed. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Here's Kelly. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. The completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. From the 44-yard line, here's second and five. Now Kelly. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. But they certainly did a nice job there, picking him up out of the backfield and then running stride for stride with him. That's good coverage, and it led to an incompletion. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Kelly. He had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. The Bills drive stalls out on fourth down. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. First and 10 for Montana and company. Over the middle, that's caught by Taylor. 
And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? <laughs> Atlanta had the lead against New England, and just, they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. it I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching in Atlanta, our apologies. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. And from the 34, here's second and four. They'll bring one of the tight ends in motion left. Now on second down, this is Gore. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. Third down and one. Here's Montana to throw. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Niners first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Well, they've certainly spread the ball around so far, but they're definitely getting everyone involved now when you're throwing it to the fullback. Just shows how versatile this offense is and how everyone is a threat. This is McCaffrey on the give. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now Montana. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. To throw is Montana. And he holds it in, in the end zone, touchdown. San Francisco from 21 yards away and the Niners are feeling good as they extend their lead in the Super Bowl he has really settled in throwing the football and that touchdown here in the fourth quarter gives him a pretty comfortable cushion he may be a rookie but he's playing like fourth quarter and the cue being is easy how about this guy Youngster, not worried about anything, just cutting it loose and having fun. Point after, right down the middle. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The 49ers ready to kick it away, and here we go. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back now on offense, the Buffalo Bills. And it's becoming more and more apparent that this is just not going to be their night. That Lombardi trophy so close, but the expectations simply have not matched the results as they start on this drive first and 10. On first and ten, Kelly. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Reed. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Yeah. 
Here's Kelly to throw. Going quickly there, but it's incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Kelly to throw. Now this aired out deep for Reed. And this is incomplete. Oh, it looked like he had a pretty good line on that one. That would have been a big play, but he could not pull it in. And this is a situation where as a head coach, you're just saying, what else could go wrong? Let's get it all out of our system, please. This has been a sloppy game throughout. The execution has been lacking. A lot of mistakes, both mental and physical. And here's a big play that goes by the wayside. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. Not a lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate it was just incomplete and not intercepted. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on fourth. Going deep for Diggs. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, his second touchdown of this Super Bowl. And the Bills have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. When you're trailing in the fourth quarter, you got to take some chances you might not normally take. And here, that one pays off big time. And you have to think to yourself, not only did that pay off big time for them, but what was going on on the opposite side of the ball? They know that they have to take a chance here. They know they have to come up with something big, yet it still happens. So credit the execution, but wonder what the defense was doing. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. Here's the Bills kickoff unit now as they will send this one away. On the return, it's Taylor from his end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Now the 49ers settling in for their next drive. This game was really a tussle, seemed like just a moment ago, and now they've got the momentum. A couple of scores on their last pair of drives and a two-score lead. I think here now you just you go conservative, right? Run the football, work the clock. You know, I usually agree with you, but I'm going after them right here. I really? want to put this bad boy away. I wouldn't be afraid to throw it. They've got all the confidence, all the momentum on their side. Go ahead and take your dagger shots and try and finish this one off. I disagree vehemently. <laughs> I say, run the football, you've got the lead. Well, let's watch it and find out who's right. Second down and four. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. Slipped one tackle, but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. Hey, a lot of points have been scored in this game against them, but tally that one on the side of the defense. Do you think maybe, possibly, it could be a little bit of a changer for them? Maybe not a game changer, but a little bit of a momentum one that maybe they can string together some pretty good plays and slow them down. Throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Good clean play. No flags coming out of the pocket of the officials. Turns into an incompletion, and that should get him off the field with a three and out. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he's on to kick it away. That's taken on the 25. That'll wind up being a 50-yard punt, though they do get 10 back on the return. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Yeah. 
Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. What an advantage having a lead guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. Looking to throw on second. Here's Kelly. Man open downfield is Diggs. He's got it. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. They'll run on first down. It's Simpson, and he'll bring this one inside the 35. 47 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Now second and three. Now Kelly. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Out of the gun, it's Kelly. Drops it underneath to Thomas. Only able to gain a couple there, and it'll be second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, Kelly. And his throw is incomplete. <laughs> Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Play action, it's Kelly. And the Bills have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. And what a throw that was, Charles. You think about the situation, close game, fourth quarter, rookie quarterback. He doesn't seem phased one bit. So much for Bright Light's big city, and will he wilt? Not at all. The stage not too big, the moment not too big at all. They needed points on that series. And not only did he produce a touchdown drive, but how about finishing it off with a big play that only adds to the momentum that they've already established. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. Out on the field now, here come the 49ers. And the tension ratcheting up all around. A one-score game, fourth quarter of the Super Bowl. This is what you folks came for. Every play with the potential to win or lose a title as they look to drain some time off this clock. Now 
of whistles here. And I think one of the big boys for the 49ers might have jumped. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. The full start backs him up five, first and 15. They will look to throw. Montana, he finds his man complete. That's Tyler. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. I know it was a gain, but you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of the play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held him to an okay game. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. He got 29 yards that time. They go with the empty set there. Five receivers in the formation. Normally, you want to have a running back in to block, but in this case, he's lined up to the right, and he ends up getting the football. A lot of confusion calls defensively, and it turns into a big play. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Montana. That's laid out deep for Rice. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. That was for the lead right there. They know they're in a position where fortune favors the brave. So they took their shot but couldn't connect. Here's second and ten. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Owens. They get six. That'll leave him with third and four. out of the gun. Here's Montana. Uh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. This to swell the lead to six. And this one is no good. He missed it. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Here's first and ten. Back to throw toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, almost a surprise when he doesn't complete a pass like having there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's thrown it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions, and that means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. He'll look to throw. So we got a traffic there, and that's good. And now the ball's out, fumbled near midfield. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. We just saw the dilemma for every coach. You want them to fight for the extra yardage, but somehow continue to cover the football. Oftentimes when you fight that hard, the ball becomes exposed. And defensively, it's obvious they're trying to be more aggressive. First tackle a little too aggressive. Second one, though, they strip it loose. The 49ers ready to set up shop again offensively. And this game not quite over yet. And we'll likely see them take all three timeouts defensively, so they can't just kneel this one out. They're going to have to try to run a few plays. You're exactly right. They've got to get a first down and make them use up all their timeouts in order to feel like they have this one in hand. We've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. 
And he'll take it across midfield and into Buffalo territory. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. An extra defensive back here for the Bills on third down. They'll drop the throw. Open that right side is Rice. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Here comes the 49ers punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And this one will not be returnable as it sails out of bounds. So the Bills now down 34-31, less than 90 seconds to go. They need at least a field goal to send this Super Bowl to overtime as they come up on first down. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you just hold a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. He's back to throw. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. What a time to come up with a play like that. They're now in field goal range. But the opportunity is also there to try and win the game outright. Final minute. No timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the ten-yard line. This is where hustle and urgency come into play. I think you got to get up there and spike it. This is first and ten. They'll look to throw. And that one drops to the ground. Incomplete. Clock stops here just inside of 20 seconds. 19 left. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive backs on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to potentially send us to overtime. And his kick is good. And that will tie this game here in the final minute of play. So in the final minute, they turn it over to their kicker to get him back to even, and he does not disappoint. Brandon, do you think the pressure ever gets to this guy? Because I sure don't. That was pretty smooth right there. But I tell you, he better not rest on his laurels because there's a good chance they may need him again if this game goes to overtime. So what a Super Bowl this has been. All tied in the final minute as it kicks away. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. They'll come up first and 10 here. 
They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And we've got a timeout. Nine seconds remaining. Here's first down. Shotgun. Here's Montana. Over the middle complete. It's Waters. Final whistle blows, and we need some extra time here to decide who will be the victor. 60 minutes, just not enough some days to decide who's going to win the game. So the Bills going to be the first to get it as we are back underway here in overtime. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. And here come the Bills. Well, CD certainly doesn't get any more exciting than this. Overtime in the postseason. Of course, keep in mind things are different than the old way it was in the playoffs. Now both teams guaranteed a possession, so a touchdown here, if they get one, the ball game will not be over. And partner, as we both know, many people have called for this change before, and they finally got it. After the Buffalo-Kansas City Classic in the 2022 playoffs, Patrick Mahomes and KC, they score first. Game over. Josh Allen and Bills never touch the football. And people hated that. Now the game reaches OT. Every playoff team has a chance to fight to extend their season. So the plan has got to be. If you win the toss and you take the ball, reach the end zone and score, and put as much pressure on your opponent as possible to try and win a game in OT in the playoffs. Tense moments in overtime of a Super Bowl. Remember, a touchdown doesn't yet clinch it as they come up on second down. Out to the left here, the lead. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Over 100 yards receiving for him now in the Super Bowl. A nice start for them here to overtime. And, and maybe the plan here is don't do anything too crazy. Don't try for some big play, Charles. Just move the chains, put the pressure on the defense. Well, these early first downs are certainly nice confidence builders as they begin overtime because even though you've just played four quarters, the feeling's entirely different when you take the field in OT because you just want to settle in, as you suggested, keep the ball moving, and rely on your opponent to make that first big mistake. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. On second down now, it's Simpson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. This defense, tough to run against. And those linebackers, they'll go side to side up the field, and there they get them for no gain. If you can't get linemen upfield to the second level to occupy them, they have a field day just running to the football and putting ball carriers on the ground. Not many yards after contact when they wrap up like that. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a big spot for a rookie QB in overtime. It's kind of where you earn your stripes, isn't it? It really is. And we've talked with enough coaches and players about how these youngsters are getting into the game and playing this at such a high level so early. But overtime, that's an entirely different animal, and he's handling it well. They're starting to put together a nice drive. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Here's a second and eight.
Here's Kelly. And a quick throw here. That's complete. It'll be a gain of five. And now we've got a third down and three. And he is going to have a Bills first down, and he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. A play fake. Now Kelly. Throw out wide is incomplete. Now a second and ten. Now Kelly. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. In need of a third and ten conversion to keep this opening drive of OT alive. Now Thomas. And his bid for the first down coming up short as he's tackled at the 25. It's a gain of five, but it'll lead to a fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. And his kick is indeed good, and the Bills have taken the lead. They're able to put three on the board here on the opening drive of OT, and now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up, because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal, then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. So only a field goal on that opening drive of overtime. Will that hold up? We'll find out as the kick's away. And not willing to risk another fumble, he'll sit on this one. It's a touchback. As San Francisco's offense returns to the field. Owens and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30 so a little chunk there on first as they try to chip away down three in overtime I like your description chip away down three you don't have to get it all in one big play although obviously that would be nice but there's no need to have that type of risk associated with it run your offense get first downs get yourself in a position where you know you're gonna at least get three and keep this game going if you get six so much the better second down but it'll wind up incomplete after what they faced during this game where they've given up a ton of yards downfield that has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary they've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion nervous time now moving the chains an absolute must here's third down here's montana to throw and this is going to be incomplete and when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who's going to catch it was sitting in the third row. 
A big call here in overtime. They're going for it on fourth down. Going to try to throw for it with Montana. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is going to have a 49ers first down. And they come up with a big one there to keep the drive moving and then some. And you just had the feeling when they took the field for this drive, they meant business. They knew a field goal would keep the game going, but a touchdown would end it here in overtime. And that nearly did it right there. What a play to put them in position to win this ball game. A field goal on this drive would extend the game. A touchdown, of course, would win it. It's first and 10. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. A field goal keeps this Super Bowl alive, but they'll have to do it before the end of the period as they work on second down. That's a strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. I don't care what anyone says. I want a big time back in in this kind of yardage each and every time I step on the field. A tone setter, those guys are hard to find. Here's McCaffrey. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Now a second and six. To throw is Montana. Be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. He did an okay job of absorbing the hit, just couldn't secure the football through the catch. And he was right there on the spot and forced the incompletion. That's something defenders work on all the time. If you're there, make the contact, but continue to work your way through the receiver so that he can't possess the football and turn it into a catch. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got halfway there. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stopped them for almost no gain. On fourth down, Kyle Shanahan will send out the field goal unit. Now the Bills will take another timeout. They'll be left with just one remaining here at OT. The 49ers are going to turn over the special teams crew. The field goal unit is out there now. This to keep the game alive. And his kick is good. And we are tied once again here in the overtime session. Both teams swapping field goals on their respective first drives of overtime. So now, you know the drill. It's on to old school sudden death. Yeah, it sounds exciting, doesn't it? Can I be a little bit of Dennis Downer here, though? That drive, able to go that far, Yet they had to kick the field goal to keep playing. You would have think, you would have thought maybe could they punch it in and go ahead get, and end it? We get more free football. Oh yeah, good point. Come on. I'm back up beat again. Forget the downer stuff. So one more drive here. Barring another field goal, it'll decide this Super Bowl. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles, because my palms <laughs> sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third drive of overtime. And as we know from here on out, any points win this football game. I'll throw you a towel as well, partner. I've got one for myself, but let's face it. Our nerves, our pressure, nothing compared to what's going on on that field. Both of the field goal kickers active here early. 
Can one of them become the hero and end this thing? Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. And partner, I've not been a huge fan of a certain cliche, but it does actually apply here. Who actually wants it more now? I mean, both of them have gotten field goals here in overtime. Yeah, they've been out there a long time trading field goals. Now we'll see who wants it more. Yeah, mental conditioning as well as physical conditioning is going to determine who wins this one. He's been big. Two touchdowns earlier. Now he's got a first down here. Charles, you get into these overtime situations. That's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, we're an OT. You've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. What they say, it's not the X's and the O's. It's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. Ball right on the 50-yard line. Here's a second and four. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Kelly. And that is incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath. And boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. Yeah, the 49ers getting set to trot out there. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. First and ten for Montana and company. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it's second down. Now Montana. It'll be caught by Rice. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit. And that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completion step up and make those throws, and he did that. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Second and ten. Again, he'll drop the throw. And that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. When defenses get to the quarterback that quickly, a lot of times it's called a jailbreak. It wasn't quite that fast, but fast enough that he had no time to look downfield and set himself to throw the ball. And as he tried to do that, he was hit and it forced an incompletion. They'll look to throw again. Complete to Taylor. And the tackle going to be made at the 41 as they stop him a few yards short of the first. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here comes the 49ers punter now. On for a very important punt here in overtime. Fair catch called for right around the 11-yard line. 
So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Bills will be backed up to start the drive. They'll have it first and ten. confidence of the defense. Now a first down throw, Kelly. And that's incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw is Kelly. Now this aired out deep for Reed. This is caught inside the 15. Just straight money right there. The biggest drive of the game, a chance to win it in overtime. If they've been saving that play, they sure pulled it out at the right time. A huge turn of events there. One overtime. How about two? We need another. We're still even. We'll switch sides and have that second overtime in just a moment. Well, if you like drama, especially in the biggest of all games, we are back for the second overtime now in the Super Bowl. And the 49ers going to take another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. This undoubtedly the biggest kick of his life. And his kick is good! The field goal is through the uprights, and they've won the Super Bowl! And these Bills make the 90s seem like a distant memory. Buffalo is the Super Bowl champion. And their remarkable season ends in the most remarkable of ways. They get to put next to their name, Super Bowl champion. And they can't ever take that away, can they? Nope. That lasts forever. So good to see the emotion when it's all said and done. You see the hugs. You see the guys sharing the collective happiness. Makes me want to carry you around a little <laughs> bit on my shoulders to celebrate the triumph. And congratulations to them. A fantastic season.